Alright, uh, well, we're going to uh, take a look at this uh, potato gun I made, a pneumatic potato gun, and uh, show you some ammo that I made for it. Uh, lead pellets that I melted down. Anyways, if you come over here a little closer, take a look. Basically, uh, we got a pneumatic pellet gun. Okay, you got a little field port right here that you can hook up to uh, an air compressor, and I'll show you that in a second. But anyways, you have a uh, air chamber. I got some zip ties right now because I got some various barrels, and it secures it very, very well. And I can change barrels. I got a silencer barrel port for a little more quieter action. But uh, this is the power barrel. It's longer, it's copper, it closely matches the ammo, and I'll show you why in a second. But if you uh, come back down here, basically the valve is a Orbit one inch uh, irrigation or sprinkler valve. The uh, jar top is the more technical term for it. You got a blow gun valve. I drilled a hole, I had a tap and die set, and drilled it out. Ran me a fitting in there. Don't forget the Teflon tape, it'll leak. Anyway, blow gun valve, I took the little tip out to help it flow a little better. I could have ran my Dremel in there or a drill bit and poured it out, give it a little flow, but I'm not going to do that. It's a little simple build, less than a hundred dollars. But, well, uh, you know, I'm going to say this is a, a potato gun, but we got some different things we like to shoot out. And I'll show you something that I made. Uh, look over here. This is some uh, lead pellets, and these hit pretty hard. You got potatoes, you got marbles, you got a variety of things that you can shoot out of a pneumatic potato gun. But uh, these weigh about 1,800 grains. We got a scale right here. Let, let it turn on. Let it lay it right in there. 1792, about 1,800 grains. And uh, they're pretty easy to make. You can get uh, pellet gun ammunition from Walmart, something cheap, cheap pellets. Uh, find a tire shop that'll give their uh, waste away. And basically, you melt them down. Either the left, there, there's always some zinc or steel that come with it. If you look right here, you can see. And I'll tell you what kind of weight it is. These are steel. So I separated the uh, lead ones out. Milt them down over an uh, old rusty barbecue pit that you don't want to cook under. And uh, basically pour them in these. I made this little mold. It took me uh, this little something cheap. They're not exact. You know, you're not going to go shoot match grade accuracy. But, you know, cut them off about an inch and uh, sweat them on with a little sweat. Uh, this is uh, version two. This is version one. This was my trial. Of. This is my first time making these, but anyhow. So this is version two, and later on I'll try to sweat something in there to uh, give it more of a pointed nose. But anyways, I left a couple in there so you can see what they look like after you pour them in there. Basically you turn them over and knock them out with a hammer. So, uh, Basically, we're going to shoot a bunch of cans over here. We got them numbered, so after we shoot them, we can pause the video, set them back up, and give a, give a little uh, demonstration of, of what happened to them all. So, here we go. We're going to take some shots. Let's move the propane out of the way. That doesn't need to be there. So uh, I already loaded one in, and uh, I'm going to hook up my air source over here. You see this airline, and that lines around to this Husky 33 gallon. I bypassed the regulator to come straight off the tank. Fresh top off, 165 PSI will be this shot. So I'm going to hook it up to our uh, put connect over here on this little lower and uh, we already got one loaded up it's a little bit long so I like to support it but 
I love velocity. We'll slowly air it up. We don't want to shock it. Hundred sixty five PSI, eighteen hundred and fifty grain around, eighteen blood ice, very tasty. And here we go. That was nice. Pause it. So uh, the last thing you saw was those cans going everywhere. So uh, we had the cans lined up. Hopefully you saw that in the earlier part of this video that they were numbered. Here's a little preview. We'll get a little closer in. But there we set them back up. And those about 1,800 grain homemade cast lead pellet at 165. Coming out of this bad boy with a $15 valve. Pretty nice. Pretty freaking nice. So, uh, we'll run the camera in there. We'll come at it. First couple, first cans just ripped open. And it just kept on going down the line. We separated them a little bit. To help you can kind of see the exit wound there that is pretty freaking nice that's all 18 all the way out there's the exit out of 30 Here we go. I'll show you the numbering again. This this help helps us get them back together. I hate I don't have a high ski high speed camera because that would look really cool. I'm thinking. But anyways, yep, little uh, hundred dollar rig there, the eighty inch barrel, the six foot air chamber. And it's coming off of, uh, there it is, at Husky 33 gallon. Line fed. Take this back over here. You can, you can do a whole lot of different fittings. You can do a little quarter inch valve with a quick connect, make it nice and small. Whatever you want to do. If you like a long barrel, you can glue them down. You can do a lot of stuff with it. So, uh, but anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Fun build. We'll see what else comes out. And I'll put it on video when I get something cool built again. Y'all have a good night.